This video will discuss the study of genetics. Genetics is the study of gene inheritance and the variation of traits in a species. The video explains how genetic information is transferred from parent to child. The video assumes that you are familiar with DNA, genes, and alleles. So as you know, living things have a lot of DNA. Cells have a way of packaging this DNA into neat and tidy structures before an organism reproduces. What happens is, DNA gets wrapped tightly around proteins and forms into compact structures called chromosomes that are like tight spools of DNA. A chromosome is similar to a spool of string. The string is like a long strand of DNA, and the spool is like the protein's DNA wraps around. Together, they make a chromosome. When all of the DNA in a single human cell is wrapped into chromosomes, humans wind up with 23 separate chromosomes, which you can see here. Every individual cell of every single human on this planet has 23 chromosomes. The only exceptions to this rule are individuals with genetic disorders. Chromosomes are ordered by length, where one is the longest and the length decreases as the numbers go up. The X and Y chromosome you see determine the gender of the organism. Now, while humans have 23 different types of chromosomes, they also have two copies of each chromosome, as you can see above. This makes a total of 46 chromosomes. One copy comes from the mother, and the other copy comes from the father during reproduction. Look at the picture. There are two chromosomes above each number, one from mom and one from dad. Often, these pairs of chromosomes link together and appear like this. One side of the X is the mother's chromosome, and the other side is the father's. The chromosome from the mother and the chromosome from the father will most likely contain different alleles for the same gene. Mom could be short and dad could be tall. Mom could have brown hair and dad could be blonde. This gives offspring a mixture of some genes from their mother and some genes from their father. This is why children usually appear as a blend of their parents. However, how does a cell know whether to use their father's allele for a trait or their mother's? Watch the dominant recessive allele video to find out. 